if you were one of the few people that was trying to, I guess, make sense of this whole Hopkins trade disaster from a few days ago, well, how do you feel now? Because <laughs> some more details just came out, and honestly, like, this whole thing is just a mess, like, Different people are, you know, reporting different things. Some things don't even make sense. Some things are like, what in the world? That's crazy. And, you know, it's just like an all-around mess. And the Texans look like a dysfunctional franchise. And they probably are a dysfunctional franchise. Now, earlier in the morning, Michael Irvin came out and said that the reason why he was told by people that the reason why D-Hop was traded was because Bill O'Brien told D-Hop that, you know, he pretty much, I guess, well, he pretty much compared him to Aaron Hernandez, I guess. And D-Hop felt disrespected. He wanted out. O'Brien apparently said that he didn't like that DeAndre had like a bunch of baby mamas and he didn't like that he had them around the team on occasions. So, you know, D-Hop felt disrespected, so he wanted out. And other people were over there saying D-Hop wanted a new contract, which, you know, he deserves. So, you know, the Texans rather pay Tunsil and Watson instead of D-Hop. But, I mean, we could afford a lot three, but, I mean, it's whatever. So, the Texans decided to trade D-Hop. Another report is that, you know, apparently... <laughs> Um, the Texans, I guess Bill O'Brien, went up to DeAndre Hopkins and told him, oh man, you've definitely outperformed your contract, you deserve more money, but we can't pay you, so they traded him, so apparently, like, apparently in this situation, D-Hop never asked for a pay raise, so like, I don't even know what in the world is going on, like, everybody's saying different things, but no matter what story you believe, no matter what way you try to spin it, regardless of what's true and what's not, the Texans look like a dysfunctional franchise and are currently operating like a dysfunctional franchise. And, you know, here's the thing. There was some Texans fans, yeah, I guess yesterday and the day before that, trying to, like, convince me that it's not that big of a deal, you know, you can replace DeAndre Hopkins and stuff like that. Okay, look, I get it. I get your point of view. Players besides maybe, you know, like quarterbacks, they're all replaceable. Like, you know, I've seen some Texans fans saying, well, Keenan Allen was a third round pick. Michael Thomas was a second round pick. Tyler Boyd was a second round pick. Okay, fine, yes, yes, those guys were definitely later round picks, Stephon did with a fifth round pick, whatever, that's cool and all, but see, it's not just about trading DeAndre Hopkins, it's not just about the impact that D-Hop would have on the field, because we know what impact he has on the field, it's about how it impacts like the team in general, the players in that locker room. Like, it's very possible that O'Brien has lost the locker room, and, you know, that's a good thing, but still, though, you know, not only that, from the outside perspective, you know, like, we're in free agency, there's still, you know, some nice, cool, good-looking players out there. Do you think that if they were interested in signing with Houston, that after this whole, you know, O'Brien... Thing came out do you think they still want to come to Houston I say no straight up no like maybe a few of them yeah but like a guy like Eric Murray dude maybe you begin to wonder maybe that's why the Texans overpaid for a no-name backup safety that I've never even heard of in my life dude's making almost seven mil a year and nobody knows who he was. Literally, nobody knew who he was. I play a bunch of Madden, and I know about a bunch of players that I really shouldn't know about. 
but yet I've never heard of Eric Murray. So, yeah, maybe that's why the Texans overpay for players like Eric Murray. And, yeah, like, he got people on Monday clowning the Texans for the trade. And then today he had players like Michael Thomas, you know, pretty much calling Bill O'Brien racist. Or he did call Bill O'Brien racist, suggesting that, you know, Deshaun don't even re-sign in Houston. And honestly, I wouldn't blame Deshaun if he didn't re-sign in Houston. As much as that might hurt you guys to hear, but as long as O'Brien's here, as long as Cal McNair's here, I don't think much is going to change, guys. And, yeah, like, it's just a complete mess like a straight up mess that there is no way no way the Texans can clean this up like it's it's done like the damage is done even if the trade somehow falls through you know let's say David Johnson feels his physical the damage is already done what's done is done and you know like I was saying just a little bit ago do you think players want to come to Houston now that they've heard of this well, according to Benjamin Albright, no, because according to him, a potential DB target for the Texans told him that he told the team, no thanks, because he was warned by a former Texans defensive player about the head coach. Now, when you really start to think about it, who is one player that's always talking mess about the Texans on Twitter? Kareem Jackson. Kareem Jackson, he just, every day he trolls. The dude's a troll. He's an ugly ass dude who trolls. He's ugly, but he's right. And what is one potential DB target that Kareem Jackson could possibly have contact with? Chris Harris. They've played together in Denver this past year. They're probably close. So Kareem Jackson probably told Chris Harris, don't go to Houston. Bill O'Brien, ugly as hell. So, yeah. It is not the first time Kareem Jackson throws a wrench in the Texans' plans. You know, obviously that Denver game... From this past year, Kareem Jackson balled out. He, I guess, single-handedly beat the Texans. And then, you know, the second thing he did, he probably got suspended on purpose, knowing that it would cost the Texans a third-round pick. And then here he is telling Chris Harris not to come to Houston. Now, none of this is confirmed, by the way. Like, it is not confirmed that it was indeed Kareem Jackson, but it's, I mean, it's easy to assume that, it was Kareem Jackson, you know, so, yeah, so players don't want to come to Houston, won't want to come to Houston, because Bill O'Brien is here. Now, not only Kareem Jackson is saying stuff, you got Braxton Miller and Jalen Strong also saying stuff, I think Jalen Strong in the past has said some things, but, like, he didn't, like, really go into detail, but, yeah, today he kind of, you know, went into more detail, pretty much confirming I guess what Michael Irvin said about D Hop, saying that that's just the type of person uh, O'Brien is. He said he did it to a bunch of other players like Keith Mumphrey. He did it to Deontay Foreman, and Braxton Miller was asked, "Was he like this with you?" And Braxton was like, "Yes." So, <laughs> hey man, there it is. Like, I just can't wait for Phil O'Brien to lose the locker room. And all the players come out and say how they really feel, you know? Because, like, right now, the players aren't going to say anything about O'Brien because he's a the coach there. And here's another thing. DeAndre Hopkins, he pretty much said on Twitter, or he said on Twitter that this was all blown out of proportion. He has respect for Bill O'Brien. And some people are like, oh, yeah, see, guys, see, see? O'Brien didn't say anything. Bruh. DeAndre Hopkins is a professional like the, the dude is a stand-up guy he does everything the right way he is not gonna bash o'brien that's not the type of guy he is and he's not gonna do it because he has friends former teammates that he cares about that are currently playing 
in Houston. So he's not going to go out there and say, yeah, man, fuck that guy LeBron. Like, he's not going to say that. So him saying that it was blown out of proportion, he wasn't, like, he wasn't telling the truth, you know. He was just kind of trying to, I guess, calm everything down for his former teammates and friends. And, you know, that's just the type of guy DeAndre is, which, you know, brings me back to the whole Aaron Hernandez comments that you know O'Brien made like how how in the world can you compare DeAndre Hopkins to Aaron Hernandez like according to like you know Patriots fans and stuff like Aaron Hernandez was low-key kind of a I guess a little gangster-ish and if you look at DeAndre Hopkins his motherfucker wears dresses dude like, it is not even comparable. Okay, so what if he wants to have 400 million baby mamas, dude? He's rich. Who cares? He can pay for those kids, like, everything. Like, doesn't matter. Like, don't get into his personal life unless he's out here, you know, doing stuff that he's not supposed to. But if he wants to go around and, you know, fuck every girl in the world, I mean, what do you care about it, you know? Like, don't get into what he's doing I guess so yeah and here's another thing man like there's other Texans fans again like the little positive people well what what if David Johnson rushes for 2,000 yards I don't care bro like I don't care 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 like here's the thing we could have gotten way more for DeAndre Hopkins way more way more and I know there's reports out there that apparently the Cardinals offered the most that's complete BS that is complete BS because Stephon Diggs just got traded for a first round pick and DeAndre Hopkins is way better than Diggs and I don't even think it's close now Diggs is a fine player don't get me wrong but Hopkins, he's the best wide receiver in the NFL, and he's 28 years old. He's in his prime. So we definitely could have gotten a better offer. So I don't believe that. Now, again, David Johnson, 2,000 yards. I don't care because we could have had David Johnson and a first-round pick and some change. But instead, we have David Johnson, his big old contract, and a second round pick and nothing else you know like it doesn't matter we could have had David Johnson and you know let's say he does rush for like 2,000 yards and like does amazing but we could have had so much more as well that's the issue they traded D-Hop for absolutely nothing they probably broke the locker room like you know the team's in shock and you got people clowning the Texans and rightfully so now and the Texans are now viewed as a dysfunctional franchise and rightfully so so no matter what way you try to spin this no matter you know i guess what silver lining you try to find this is bad in so many different ways and like i said i cannot wait for bill o'brien to get fired so we can hear what these players have to say about Bill O'Brien because whenever a head coach gets fired like the players usually come out and say you know how they really feel about the coach and you know if D-Hop wanted out if you know Braxton Miller Jalen Strong you know Brandon Brooks were saying stuff too and I'm curious to hear what the other players have to say you know like a guy like Deshaun a guy maybe like Lonnie Johnson you know I feel like guys like that would be vocal about their I guess displeasure on playing for O'Brien so you know curious to see all that happen when O'Brien gets fired and you know at this point like where, where do we go from here you know like we've hit like the lowest of lows like there literally is nowhere to go but up I guess but yeah these are tough times like, legit, dude. Like, with this whole coronavirus thing going on, this whole D-Hop trade, Houston looking kind of gloomy these past three days. Like, this feels like the end times, man. So, yeah, like, 
that's all I really have for you guys for today. Like, this is just a complete mess. And sorry about not having any background Madden gameplay for you guys these past two videos. Because, you know, this is all pretty much breaking news type of stuff that, you know, I kind of have to record immediately to put it out for you guys immediately. So I don't really have time to record gameplay. So... Yeah, I hope you just enjoy, you know, a nice picture of D-Hop or something, see what I throw up there. But, yeah, that's all I have for you guys for today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell if you haven't done so already. And you guys be sure to stay safe with this whole coronavirus thing going on. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.